Chinese contemporary art is something really extraordinary. If you look at it from an art historical perspective, it's totally unique because it's a, such a short story, it's about 40 years. It starts basically after the Cultural Revolution and it's really the story about how artists in China discover an aspect of Western contemporary art and start using it for their own purposes. What is called often conceptual art. It's the tradition after the artist Marcel Duchamp and they find their tools to sort of understand how this fantastic process in China, the rapidly changing society, how it affects us as human beings, how it affects society, and they find languages to formulate that through conceptual art. This exhibition is really the story about that. This exhibition is based on a collection that is built by a man called Uli Sig, a Swiss collector and businessman who came to China in 1979 working for a private Western company and actually turned out to be the first person who created the first business deal between a Western company and the Chinese government, which later then became a model for these types of collaborations. And he was also a young art collector and he started to follow the art scene early on in China as it developed. And he saw in the early 90s that this is really art history that's being created, but no one is collecting it. There will be no memory left besides some private collections. And then he set out to do something that he called building the collection that a national museum should have built. And then some decades later, a few years ago, he decided to give his collection to Hong Kong. He gave it to Hong Kong, I think it was because of freedom of expression and the availability both for Hong Kong people but for so many Chinese visitors to come here so they could get the full story. And we see a little bit of the result of that fantastic donation here in this exhibition. As a visitor you may wonder why is this an exhibition of just mainland Chinese artists? No artists from Hong Kong in this show. And the simple reason is that we're trying to tell this unique story of the development of art in mainland China, which is so distinctly different from what happened in Hong Kong. Because art is to a large extent a reflection of a society, how it changes and how it affects us, our lives, our thoughts, our feelings. And what has happened in the last 40 years in China has no parallel anywhere else in the world. And this is the story we want to tell.